Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to convert object to sound in Cinema 4D. Okay, let's see the result. Let's open a new scene, Command N. Insert more text object. Change the text to, for example, sand. Change the font type to gel sans or any bold font that you like. Change the alignment to middle. Change the font to ultra bold. Increase the depth. Make it a child of uh, a connect object by holding Alt. Disable Weld. Hit C to make it editable. Delete the, all those uh, selection tags. Create a new material. Disable color and reflectance. Uh, insert a gradient. Change the gradient type to 2, 2, uh, 2D circular. Add it to the object. Rename the object to, for example, sand. Go to the texture tag settings and come, uh, choose frontal. Choose uh, the angle uh, that you like. I will choose this. Make the notes nearby uh, each other. Add turbulence. Increase the size and increase the octaves duplicate the white one make them closer make black one 50 position and this one 54 and uh, the last one, uh, 46. Okay, that's for now. Uh, delete the UVW tag. Right click on the texture tag and generate UV coordinates uh, on the command Z. Yeah, you should uh, cover uh, the wall object and generate UV coordinates. Now the texture not frontal, but you uh, have the same result as before. Okay. Uh, show sub channels. Interface show sub channels and go to frame 50 and select uh, the black one and um, make the position for a uh, keyframe now go okay it one keyframe for all the parameters now go to frame 0 Make the black one position. The black one position should be point point two, and the white one. Uh, this one should be zero, and the last one should be. Should be point four. Hit keyframe. Now go to frame. For example, go to frame ninety and make this one position one hundred percent. The black the black one 90 
99.8 and the last one make it 99.4.5 and hit keyframe okay and let's see the result now we have an animated gradient go to frame for example 20 or 30 make it a little bit wider copy the position of the black one and go to the white one paste it plus, uh, minus 2 uh, sorry uh, paste it in the white one this one minus 2 and paste it in the other white one but this time plus 2 so we make it a little bit wider for this one uh, plus one this one minus one to make it even wider okay and hit a keyframe okay let's create a new null right click cinema 4d tags expresso go to the X pool and this uh, search icon type in P, uh, TP matter waves P matter waves and uh, P P pass and P gravity let's go to the P matter waves uh, go to the texture copy it copy channel and go to the P matter waves and insert the object in the object uh, field and the UV in this field change uh, the birth type from count to shot make the shot for now 100 we will increase it later go to the lifetime make it increase the timeline make it uh, 150 now go to the speed make it 0 and uh, go back to the birth type make it texture paste uh, that uh, texture we've created uh, earlier uh, the, now it's emitted uh, in the wrong direction we have uh, to invert uh, uh, the birth uh, by invert uh, this notes right click and invert notes now it is I think working increase the shot to 400 and create a new null name it gravity enable color choose a color that you like and enable icon color through the gravity on the gravity node link the gravity node to p pass make the strength 1000 rotate it uh, so it's facing uh, the minus y axis
change the keyframe position for the texture and now see increase the peak strength and now let's see this is better but too fast go to the think particle settings change it to the uh, to drops drops is better and give you velocity information and now go back to the p matter waves and to the texture uh, and shot increase it to 2000 and let's see I've made a mistake uh, I create a new material make it any material that you like I will make it simple in the alpha channel paste the gradient that we've made delete uh, this white one and let's see apply it to the object any cube to enable textures increase the timeline to 200 and spread uh, them a little bit more okay I go to the luminance copy it I've made a mistake earlier I changed the uh, I changed uh, the keyframe but uh, didn't uh, update it the one in the P matter waves and uh, the other one so my changes didn't take effect every time you change it, uh, the animation you should uh, copy and paste it again okay and now see the result it's too fast we should make it a little bit slower but I don't uh, waste uh, a lot of time uh, retiming the texture I will uh, upload uh, the scene file in the download link uh, in the download in the description so you can download it and not this file but uh, the first file uh, make the texture for the alpha a little bit late so the effect will be more natural Okay, let's see this setup. I've just uh, added a P group. If you have multiple simulations, you would specify which group. You add it from just type P group and add it. And that's all. Let's close this. Uh, let's check the B matter waves. I added uh, signs. It is not really important. And this is the gradient. And the shot, I added 5000. Let's close this. Okay. 